Yeah, um, good morning, this is Bang Bang Real Hot. Listen, I've just done a, a, a podcast and it got took off, yeah? So I'm just going to finish a little bit of it and uh, put it on as, as well, yeah? Uh, yeah, what it happens, I, I, as I say, I um, I moved to Lewisham and um, I was involved with um, some proper people down there. Uh, they were gangsters. I mean, Charlie Richardson was a gangster, mate. Charlie, Charlie was a proper gangster. Eddie was a proper gangster. Don't worry about that, mate. You had the Haywards, Harry Hayward, Billy Hayward, proper gangsters. I had a club called Cheeks. I wanted to work there. I've been around that area. I was on the door quite a lot there with uh, Jimmy Tibbet, just seeing people, trying to get uh, people to fight me. Um, I see Dave Courtney coming once with a purple coat on and I get out of a Rolls Royce with a big black geezer. I thought it was a bit gay, actually, at first. I thought, well, hold up, what, who'd come in with a purple fur coat? Anyway, but I don't know if he was gay, but he might have been. I don't know, I ain't got a clue. But I see Dave Courtney now, he seems, you don't seem gay to me now, but whatever. Anyway, uh, yeah, um, you know, and then I started to um, uh, fight. I was going down to Beckett and do a bit of fighting, because he's, he's a big podcast, so I'm just cutting out so much of, of my life, what I have with these people, but obviously I'm, I'm, I'm writing a book, there's been more big, big bits in the book, you know what I mean? But I don't want to spoil it really as, as, as such, yeah? But it's, you know, there's a little things, and I go down the, I go down the Beckett, and um, I'm down there by myself, um, doing a lot of workout, doing a workout, a lot of floor workout, bag workout, I'm on the, not so much ball workout, bag workout, I'm getting someone to do me on the pads, I'll do a little bit of sparring with people um, and, and all that. A, a guy that I did spar with and it, without uh, anybody was a guy called Lloyd Waltham, a black guy, and uh, he hit me in about the fourth or the fifth round, knocked me on the floor, and uh, I jumped up very quick, you know, And but when you jump up quick, there's something, there's not something not right, yeah? I jumped up quick and uh, carried, on, carried on fighting, and uh, the next thing I know, I've got bad concussion, really bad concussion. And I didn't know where I was. I couldn't find my way home or nothing. Yeah, I was that bad. And uh, in the end, in the end, I went to um, to Elephant Castle Station to go back to Acton, and I lived in Lewisham. That's how much concussed I was. I even left my car, and it was mad. You know, it was really, really bad. Um, I should have gone to the hospital. Perhaps, you know, you don't know what's wrong, what, what's wrong with your head after that. But um, I met some good people down there. Steve Riches, he's dead now. Columbo, you know, that's his name, Steve Riches, Columbo. He died. Um, nice fellow, mate. I mean, I was a spy with Columbo. We used to some joke, some proper games, games, games in the ring, yeah? Because he was like uh, into karate and used to give his backhanders and all that game. I like Columbo a lot, you know what I mean? He used to have some good sparring sessions, but they were more funny than sparring, yeah? And, you know, I, I've told people that I've uh, moved moved around with um, with Roy, Roy Shaw in there. And, uh, you know, he when I first moved around with Roy, he really punished me, mate. He really hurt me. The guy could bang. And he was really hurting me, yeah. And uh, my brother got a bit involved. My brother, come out there, come out, mate, come out, come out. You know, like because you could see that it was oh, he was hurting me. And after that, um, uh, Jimmy Tibbet, I got involved with Jimmy Tibbet, and then I'd do a few more rounds with Roy, and uh, and that's it. And then and one day that it's like everything, can't it? You get you get better. That one day turns it all round, you know. And then. I was banging boy, and um, the guy said, "Oh, you know, stop it, and have, a, have a break," and you know, and that was it. And but when I got in the dressing room, boy, boy was a nice, nice man, mate. Boy, sure, I liked him. I liked him. He wasn't a liberty taker. He was just nice. You know, you could talk to him. He was a bit of, obviously was a, a growler. Man was a, a proper gangster, proper fighter. You know what I mean? He, bare fist fighter. You know, and uh, he said to me that um, he said that I hurt him a lot. He said, "Are you going to get into the? Are you going to get into the illegal fights?" I said, "Yes." He said, "You're going to go a long way, you know." He said, "You're going to go a long way," and that's when me and Jimmy Tibbet um, went down to um, Mayfair Tottenham, and I fought a guy called Brian Hall, 
and uh, I, I think I done eight or ten rounds with Brian Hall, and uh, it was a good fight. I think I won it, but beside the point, it became a draw. Uh, I smashed his face up with a bit, Brian Hall's face, smashed it up, and uh, and then jumped out of the ring and bumped into Lenny McLean, who was he had a black rolling jump on, black trousers, black shoes, and black hair, and he then I just imagine he was about what. 16, 17 stone, and me and him had bad words, and uh, and then I got all of Jimmy Tibbet to get all of um, Vic Andre, and uh, and uh, you know, uh, and uh, what do you call it, the the, the manager, um, Frankie Warren, and uh, them two had a chat and got me to go to the ring, the pub called the ring, and uh, we went upstairs and sparred me and me and Lenny sparred upstairs, and. Um, and there was a few fighters up there, good fighters up there. I think I'm not quite sure if at that time um, I, I did meet Nigel Ben. I think Nigel Ben was up there. I'm not quite sure now if he was up there at that time. I'm not quite sure, but there was some good fighters up there, mate, them. And uh, we had a few rounds, me and uh, Len. And uh, same thing. Len knocked me about a bit. You know, he did knock me about a bit. I ain't going to say he didn't. He did. And then as he got better, then I was knocking him about. It wasn't, um, you know, uh, one-sided. Believe me, it wasn't one-sided. And, and then um, uh, I said to Jim, you know, what's going to happen? He said, well, we'll try and get, the, we'll try and get a fight. You know, he seems to be the one to fight at the moment. He's, uh, he's, you know, he's doing what he's doing. He's winning all the fights. He's losing their fights. So he's the one to fight, right? You know, and I tried to get a fight with him twice. Uh, nothing ever happens. It never, never, never happened at all. I don't know if it was Vic Andretti or Frankie Warren that stopped it, but uh, it never happened. And uh, you know, true fight, true supposed to have. But I was fighting regular. I mean, I, I mean, uh, I had forty-two prize fights. I won thirty-eight, lost two, drew two. Um, that's a good record, mate. But I used to fight a lot of doormen, loads of doormen. I used to fight. Um, I never this guy called Lou, Lou Yates, you know, I never ever heard of him before until the podcast came up uh, when he was talking about Roy Shaw and all that, you know, and, and, I, and I respect Lou, I respect him a big match because I see a video of him and Roy Shaw and all that, you know, and um, I think uh, that, you know, but what Lou said, he, he'd won it, he'd won the fight with Roy. It was stop I would cut eye or something, I'm not quite sure. But yes, I, I liked uh, Lou. Um, Lou, uh, and I'm surprised that me and him ne never met, uh, never fought. Perhaps it was maybe I must have gone back to prison or maybe I moved to Acton. I don't know what it was. I don't know why we never met, you know, because um, I fought, I mean, I got lots of fights with people, loads, you know what I mean? Loads of fights. And, you know, I was always at Harvey Social Club and. Cats wish to Stratton. I was always fighting in them clubs, yeah? And some in Deptford, not Deptford, uh, Guildford. I thought, well, I thought, um, I thought I thought um, Sid Paddock in Deptford, not Deptford, in Guildford. I thought I thought um, Kevin Paddock, I'm not quite sure. One of them is either Sid or, or boxing as Cats Whiskers, or Kevin or Pat boxing as Cats Whiskers. Them two fights, good fights, mate. I mean, uh, Sid, Kevin Paddock beat Lenny, I think, but lost to Roy Shaw. I'm not quite sure, actually, uh, if that's true, but that's what I was told. Um, I can't see um, Kevin Paddock ever lying about something like that. Kevin Farrell is a proper man now, proper fire. Uh, anyway, listen, let's leave it, stop it there. Um, I'll do another one later. Uh, this is uh, Bang Bang My Hill. Please press the like button and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.